Hey there. Recently I was asked by another YouTube member about my settings video that I made not too long ago. Um, he asked, well, you know, I've tried doing this with checkboxes and stuff like that and making sure settings load correctly as if somebody checks a setting and uh, they load their program and the settings still checked. Well, they said, it's not working, I can't figure it out, I don't know how to do this, can you help me? I said, yeah, sure, I'll make a video for you. And that was about a month ago, and I feel very bad about not actually uh, getting this video done. So I decided today, even though I'm sick, to do it and try to help out uh, this person who needs some assistance on their program. So basically, we have our Visual Basic Settings thing over here. You can access this panel by clicking the My Project page. This will come up, click Settings, and you'll see your settings. I created a new setting called uh, CHKED basically checked because I don't want it, it to conflict with a property and instead of dimming it as an integer a long a single or even a string we're gonna dim it as a boolean a boolean or a boolean or whatever you call it uh, is basically a setting that will allow you to save um, settings like checkboxes and stuff like that it's very useful and I never really mess with this until, uh, <coughs> sorry, like I said, I'm sick. This is a very hard thing for me to do right now. But, um, and basically, a boolean allows you to have a true or false value. A string will not allow you to have that. A string is only for text, and an integer is only for numbers. You can do it by number, but it's a lot more difficult than using true or false. So let's start here. I'm only going to use one checkbox. And to load the setting, we're just going to have check box one dot check equals my dot settings dot c h k e d. <coughs> uh, sorry. Anyway, so now that I have this done, I'm going to click on the check box. I'm going to put if check box one dot checked equals true, then uh, my dot settings dot equals true. Else, if checkbox one dot checked equals false, then my dot settings dot chkd equals false. My dot settings dot save, and I need to put one of those up here. Saving is the key, and this. Um, my dot settings dot save, and basically this ensures that your program is going to load the right way, and it's going to load the settings, and it's going to actually save the settings. Now I'm going to do a brief explanation of the code. Basically, if the checkbox is checked, then the value of the boolean equals true, uh, and whenever it loads, it's going to show it as being checked. Otherwise, my dot settings dot uh, Oh, sorry, get confused here. If uh, checkbox one dot checked equals false, then it's going to remove that check, and when you load it, it's not going to be checked, so you don't have anything to worry about. Okay, now let's actually run the program to see how it actually worked, if I actually got this the right way or not. And it's going to start outside here, and I'm going to drag it in. Okay, I'm going to check the box. Now I'm going to close the program. Now, if I'm correct, I can compile it again, open it, and the box should be checked. There it is. Now, basically, the code worked, and this can be used with other loading events, like if... Here, I'm going to show a quick demonstration here. If check box one not checked equals true, then message box. It worked. It's checked. Else... Yeah, we're not going to do an else on this. We're just going to make sure it works. So being that it's checked, or it should be checked, I can't remember if I unchecked it. There you go. Now if I uncheck it and close it and load it, it will come up and, say, and it won't do anything. But if I check it again and then I load it again, that message box should come up. 
This is very useful for if you're having a program that has you log in or registration, something like that. Um, and that's basically it. That is how you use settings. Uh, remember, you always dim it. Dim it me because you can dim it in the application or you can dim it here. Dim it in the settings. Don't dim it in the application on this. Anyway, always dim it as a boolean. Uh, B O O L E A N. That's how you do it. Do not do it as a string, a single, a short, or an integer. It won't work. Um, if you like this video, support us by registering and signing up and maybe even donating to egidesign.net. I'm Eric, and this has been another EG Interactive tutorial.